Hey kids, welcome to today's lesson. It's so good to have you guys back here. My name is Fumi and the title of today's lesson is The Thief. So before we jump into our lesson, let's take a pause and say a prayer. So go ahead and close your eyes, bow your heads and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for today's lesson. Thank you for what we're going to learn. Help us be doers of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, the memory verse for today's lesson is from Joshua 7 verse 20. And it goes, Achan said, I have sinned by stealing from God. Joshua 7 verse 20. Okay, let's do it one more time. And as usual, do it a little slower so that we can all learn it. Joshua 7, verse 20. Achan said, I have sinned by stealing from God. Joshua 7, verse 20. Good job. Remember, you can send a recording of yourself reciting the memory verse to the church's WhatsApp number. Also, coloring pages and um, worksheets can be found on aec.ae on, um, on the Children Ministry tab. So make sure you check that out and make sure you also stay till the end of this lesson because a video about the story comes right after. Okay, let's start. So once again, the title is The Thief. Let's find out what this is about. God's people were in the promised land. Joshua and the soldiers marched around the city of Jericho. God made the walls fall down. I hope you remember that story. Now they marched to the city of Ai. But this time, the Lord didn't help Joshua's soldiers. The men from Ai were ready. They raised their swords and charged from the city. They fought against God's people. Joshua's soldiers were afraid. They turned around and ran away. Some of the soldiers were killed. Joshua saw what had happened. He fell to the ground and prayed to God. Lord, we lost the battle. Why didn't you help? Joshua, the Lord told Joshua, one of your soldiers did not obey me. One soldier stole things from Jericho. That is why I did not help you. That is why you did not win the battle. Then Joshua was very sad. All the, his soldiers knew that they were not allowed to take anything from Jericho. Everything in the city was for God. But one soldier named Achan disobeyed. He took things in Jericho for himself. He did not tell anyone what he had done, but the Lord knew. God saw what Achan had done. The next morning, Joshua called God's people together. Joshua needed to find out who had stolen things from Jericho. God helped Joshua. Out of all the tribes, God chose the tribe of Judah. Out of all the families in Judah, God chose Achan. Joshua said to Achan, tell me what you have done. Achan hung his head. I disobeyed God, he told Joshua. I did a very bad thing in Jericho. I saw a beautiful robe. I saw a bar of gold. I saw lots of silver. I wanted those things for myself, so I stole them. Then I hid them in the ground under my tent. Joshua's helpers ran to Achan's tent. They found the robe, the gold, and the silver, just like he said. Now everyone knew that Achan had stolen from God. Everyone knew why Joshua's soldiers lost the battle. Everyone knew why some of the soldiers had died. All God's people were sad that Achan had sinned. 
they were very sorry that Achan did not obey the Lord. So Achan thought he was being smart when he took all those things. But God sees all that we do. Even if no one saw Achan, God did. And everyone paid a price for that. They lost the battle. Some soldiers died. And everyone felt bad for what Achan did. Even Achan himself felt bad. Have you ever tried to take something that doesn't belong to you? Maybe some candy that looked really good, looked so delicious, or some toy, your friend's toy that looked so nice and you wanted one just like that, so you felt like taking it. Let's be careful the things that we do because God sees everything. Even when we do it in secret, God knows. And when we steal, it makes people feel bad. Because the person you take stuff from will feel bad that their stuff is gone and they may not know where, they may not know you took it, you know. So let's all never steal or think of stealing. If you want something, ask for it. And if the answer is no, then it's no. It's better to not have it than to have something that belongs to someone else. Okay, let's sing this song to remind us to do the right things. It's called, Oh, Be Careful Little Hands. Oh, be careful little hands what you do. Oh, be careful little hands what you do. Cause the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful little hands what you do. We can modify that song so that it reflects the story we just read. Oh, be careful little hands what you do. Oh, be careful little hands what you do. Don't take things that are not yours. Oh, like aching, you'll be sad. Oh, be careful little hands what you do. So the lesson from the story is to not take things that don't belong to us because that's called stealing and stealing doesn't make anyone happy. I hope you all remember this and I hope you all try your best to do the right things. So remember afterwards we have a video on this story so make sure you stick around and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey kids, when I was a young fellow, my mother taught me from God's word just how much God hated evil. Now this is one of those stories that shows us God's uncompromising stand against all the sin and God's consequences against those who violate God's divine commands. When Joshua attacked the city of Jericho, Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. Now the city was doomed by the Lord to destruction, it and all who were in it. Only Rahab the harlot lived, she and all who were with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that were sent. Joshua also warned the people, and you, by all means, he said, are to abstain from the accursed things, lest you become accursed when you take of them and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it. All the silver and the gold and the vessels of bronze and iron, which are consecrated to the Lord, they shall come into the treasury of the Lord." But the sons of Israel acted unfaithfully in regard to the things under the ban. For Achan, the son of Carmi, from the tribe of Judah, took some of the things under the ban, and therefore the anger of the Lord burned against the sons of Israel. Now Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is east of Bethel. And he said to them, 
go up and spy out the land. So the men went up and they spied out Ai. Then they returned to Joshua and said to him, Do not let all the people go up. Only about two or three thousand men need to go up to Ai. Do not make all the people toil up there, for they are few. So about three thousand men from the people went up there, but they fled from the men of Ai. And the men of Ai struck down about thirty-six of their men and pursued them from the gate and struck them down on the descent. So the hearts of the people melted and became as water. Then Joshua tore his clothes, and he fell to the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until the evening, both he and the elders of Israel, and they put dust on their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, why did you ever bring this people over the Jordan, only to deliver us into the hand of the Amorite to destroy us? If only we had been willing to dwell beyond the Jordan. O oh Lord, what can I say since Israel has turned their back before their enemies? For the Canaanite and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it, and they will surround us and cut off our name from the earth. And what will you do for your great name? So the Lord said to Joshua, Rise up. Why is it that you have fallen on your face? Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. And they have even taken some of the things which are under the band, and have both stolen and deceived. Moreover, they have also put them among their own things. Therefore, the sons of Israel cannot stand before their enemies. They turn their backs before their enemies for they have become accursed. I will not be with you any more unless you destroy the things under the band from your midst. Rise up, consecrate the people, and say, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow, for thus the Lord, the God of Israel, has said, There are things under the band in your midst. O Israel, you cannot stand before your enemies until you have removed the things under the band from your midst. In the morning, then, you shall come near by your tribes. And it shall be that the tribe which the Lord takes by lot shall come near by families. And the family which the Lord takes shall come near by households. And the household which the Lord takes shall come near by man. And it shall be that the one who is taken with the things under the band shall be burned with fire. He and all that belongs to him because he has transgressed the covenant of the Lord and because he has committed a disgraceful thing in Israel. So Joshua arose early in the morning and brought Israel near by tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. And Achan, the son of Carmi, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, from the tribe of Judah, was taken. Then Joshua said to Achan, My son, I implore you, give glory to God, the God of Israel, and give praise to him. And tell me now what you have done. Do not hide it from me. So Achan answered Joshua and said, Truly, I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. And this is what I did. When I saw among the spoil a beautiful mantle from Shinar, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a bar of gold, fifty shekels in weight, that I coveted them, and I took them, and behold, they are concealed in the earth inside my tent with the silver underneath it. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran to the tent, and behold, it was concealed in his tent with the silver underneath it. And they took them from inside the tent and brought them to Joshua and to all the sons of Israel, and they poured them out before the Lord. Then Joshua and all of Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, the silver, the mantle, the bar of gold, his sons, his daughters, his oxen, his donkeys, his sheep, his tent, and all that belonged to him, and they brought them up to the valley of Achor. And Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. And all Israel stoned them with stones, 
and they burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. They raised over him a great heap of stones that stands to this day, and the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Therefore the name of that place has been called the Valley of Achor to this day. Well, kids, God judges sin in us, and we need to seek to be obedient to him at all times.